I tell everybody that I'm the president of the menial task division. Because to this day, I'm very good at cleaning windows. You wouldn't see a speck in a window if I cleaned a window. I'm very good at cleaning floors. I do it all the time because I can't stand the sight of a dirty floor or a dirty window. In the Formula One team that we had, you could have eaten your breakfast off of any part of our team. Floors, toolboxes, transporters. The transporters, the first thing that had to be done, and we changed, our little team changed the culture in Formula One. When the, car, the trucks arrived, and these are big trucks, four trucks per team to look after two prima donna racing drivers. I mean, an immense number of people, 85 people. Every one of them had to be immaculate. They had to be changing their uniforms once a day, but if they were dirty at lunchtime, they had to have new ones on in the afternoon because I didn't want to see dirty uniforms with clean floors, immaculate racing cars, immaculate transporters that were immediately washed on arrival, washed down every day, every morning, if it had been rainy overnight, every tire blacked, the tread as well as the sidewall, and then the highlighting of the name of the tire maker with the wheels jacked up so that every tire had the name of the, the tire maker on the top. Now you could say, okay, we've gone far enough, the guy's a loony. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, if you were bringing sponsors to see your operation at a Formula One race, and everybody else's vehicles, their transporters, which are beautiful pieces of kit, Ours were the best. And you know what? The tyre business, everybody saw it because they thought, my God, that truck driver's brilliant. Look how he's managed to <laughs> get that all the way right. And it was the most impressive thing. It cost us nothing to do. So attention to detail is one of the things that you quite often find a, a developing dyslexic or someone with a learning disability getting very good at. Now to begin with they'll be untidy and they'll not do things well. Once they see the difference of what a difference makes they're fantastic at it because they're searching for praise. Because you do that and it doesn't cost anything. If somebody says that's amazing, that, that looks great. And you're all pleased, somebody says it looks great. I can't tell you how much people are impressed that I've got learning disabilities when they get praise. When I started, left school, what is this, uh, in the garage serving petrol? I got more tips than I did wages because I was so hungry for praise. And every time somebody gave me a tip, it, mean, it meant they were praising me. And that was my big key to seeing myself as being successful. So it was my way of, I bought a car at the age of 17, I bought it four months before I got my driving license, entirely full price from tips. Brand new Austin A35, 375,000 pounds, spruce green, registration number ASN 500. Now that's very important for me. And yet I can't do the alphabet. I can recite every corner at the Nürburgring in Germany, 187 corners per lap, 14.7 miles around. I'll give you every detail of it now. And in that class in Aberdeen three weeks ago, I stood up and somebody asked me if I could do the alphabet. And I got to, let me think, A, B, C, D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Now I'm stopped. There's a big shutter down here. And I can't see it anymore. Now if I stood here for half an hour, I couldn't give it to you. I just don't know it. And yet I can, I can do simple things. 